Hey, what's up guys? What's going on? This is Paul again. And, um, you know, I was getting ready to calibrate my uh, salinity tester. What do you call this? A refractometer. And here's a refractometer. All right, my solution just came in and I was getting ready to calibrate this. And I just want to do a quick uh, video of how I do the calibration. And it's probably the same way you would do it, but some people do it differently. Um, I like to use a solution and target the salinity at 1.026, right? Here it is. And, um, some folks like to do it the other way, which is to calibrate it against the RODI water. Um, but yeah, let me show you how I do it. Um, you know, you can do it my way. You could do it, uh, the other way. Uh, I think this way is probably more precise. And so I do it this way. A lot of folks actually do it this way as well. So let me put the camera down and let me show you how I do it. is the refractometer and I use this every time I'm mixing salt water every time I need to make sure that the parameters are in check uh, but this tool here needs to be calibrated otherwise it's not going to be accurate so this is just a standard refractometer and I'll put uh, I'll put this uh, down at the link below if you need, need to get one if you'd like to get the same one but anyhow um, this is pretty much a standard refractometer and I am going to calibrate today. So to do that, I use this solution here. All right, and this is at 1.026. So the whole idea is that we want to calibrate this unit to 1.026. Okay, and when this is perfect at 1.026, then we can, we can use it to test against other salt water. All right, and this thing here, how it works is that uh, there's actually a little scale inside here. If you look inside, there's a scale and based on the salt content in the water, you know, you're going to put some uh, salt content or you put a few drops right here. Then you close this glass here and you look through this little hole here, right? You put this up to the sun and you look this through this little hole and then it'll give you a reading. Um, and that reading will will reflect on the scale and it'll tell you where your salt level is at but uh, what i'm doing today is i'm actually going to calibrate this and calibrating this tool is actually pretty easy uh, again you need a solution and what you're going to do is you're just going to take a few drops okay with this you're going to take a few drops then you put it on this little glass window here you close this cover then you put this into the sun and you look through this little hole here and it'll tell you where the salinity is at. Um, and then what you do is to calibrate it, you open up this top piece here and this kit will come with a little tool where you can adjust it so that way it'll be exactly at 1.026 because that's where this solution is at. So this solution is at 1.026. And you need to calibrate your refractometer to 1.026. So that's how you do it, guys. I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to get it calibrated. Um, and then that will be it. So easy enough. I'm going to open this up. Take some liquid. All right, here's some salt content. Put it in here in the glass, just like so. All right, and then you close the top. Okay. And I like to move it back and forth just to make sure it covers the whole window. 
all right so now it's covered and then you just look inside put it to the side just to make sure it's calibrated and this one is calibrated so this tells me that it's good and I don't have to touch this for the next few months so I like to do this every few months uh, sometimes you know if I'm busy then maybe two three times a year at the most but make sure that you're doing this test at room temperature otherwise um, it's gonna be off all right so again refractometer you need a solution all right put a few drops on this little eyepiece here at last put the cover on look into the light adjust as needed until you get 1.026 as you're reading all right so this is pretty straightforward and easy and this is how i do it if you have any questions feel free to leave it below uh, again if you can like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thanks